Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly vlog. Um, but this weekly vlog should be getting Sophie to actually finish some books because I realise I have seven books on the go right now. Now I normally have maybe about four. I like to have a non-fiction on the go, um, a book from NetGalley that I'm reviewing, then maybe something a little bit heavy or historical fiction-y, something I've got to really concentrate on. Um, and then maybe something light and fluffy like a middle grade. So, you know, depending on what mood I'm in, because I am a mood reader, um, I just pick up whatever I fancy reading at the time. And then non-fiction, I might try and read like one or two chapters a day. Um, so yes, I have a few books on the go. I have seven books on the go right now. Seven. So that's too many even for me, because I look at the pile of books beside me and it's just a little bit overwhelming. So this week, I would like to bring that down. No, eight. Oh my goodness, it's eight. I have an audiobook as well. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. I would like to bring this down to at least four. Four would be great. I mean, I can tolerate five. We can knock it down to four. That would be great. So the audiobook is the second book of the, oh my goodness, Starfell. Starfell series. Right. I read the book one by audiobook, um, Starfell last week and I absolutely loved The Witch when I Moss. I loved her adventures so when I saw the second one straight away on script after I was like yes we're going to start that. Now I've only got about two hours left of that so that is perfectly reasonable that I'm going to get through that. It's a middle grade, it's easy to read but it's fun as well so that shouldn't be a problem. The next book that I am surprisingly struggling with is Miranda Hart's Peggy and Me. So I love watching Miranda Hart, okay, I find her absolutely hilarious, I loved her series, to me, um, I noticed a lot of similarities between her and I, and it's about her relationship with her dog, and I love dogs, as you know, so I thought this was going to be great, but, and I'm actually, when I'm like reading it in my head, I'm, I'm imagining her voice reading it, and I was expecting to really love this, and for some reason, I'm not chatting with it, but I'm doing all right with it and I'm persevering and I think maybe I've just not been the best mental health moods this week. So I think that could be me. Um, next book I'm reading, I've just woken Duke up, sorry, is Jade War and I'm doing so well with that. Um, I want I want to finish it this month, but if I can, so I'm not going to push to read this this week, but I am reading a few chapters a day of this. Um because I'm loving it. I am absolutely loving it. And I want to make it last all month, to be honest, because I'm enjoying it that much. I want to keep dragging it out. And I'm conscious there's only one more book in the series after this. So this is set, it's a fantasy book, and it's set in a place um called Janloon, where there are different clans, sort of gangs, that um are against each other. And Jade is sort of, it shows a person's status, but it also gives them powers as well. Um, and obviously there's issues between the clans and things, and I'm just finding this absolutely a fantastic series. So that's book three. Book four, we have got The Lady of the Rivers by Philippa Gregory. I love Philippa Gregory books, and I'm starting the series from scratch. This is book one. So I made a big dent in it, but I've just got to be in the mood to read historical fiction, and I'm not always. Um, but this this started really slow for me, so it's taken me a while to get this far, but now it's really picked up, so I can see me actually be able to make quite a dent on that this week. Now, on the old Kindle, I am reading The Year I Stopped to Notice Things, and that I've got from NetGalley, and it's beautiful. It is basically, um, the author has written a book she's basically like taken around a notebook and picked up on little things that she's sort of seen or overheard conversations or just something in nature or anything that's just sort of made her smile and given a bit of a warm fuzzy invoked an emotion or something and it's really like you know sometimes we can be in such a rush and we miss these little things so this is kind of like um a little bit of a reflection there's some beautiful illustrations so i really recommend it i will as long as i remember put a link below on um maybe a note about ordering it and at least it's release date it's it's beautiful but i can see this book being like maybe like a nice gift idea as well 
So I read January because it's split up into different months of the year. I read January last night and it was just absolutely beautiful. So that I want to finish reading this week. Then I normally have like a self help you one or something on the go. I haven't read one this year. So I thought I'd start off with Sumo. Shut up, move on. Um, the Straight Talking Guide to Succeeding in Life. This is going to be my first self help you one of the year and I'm looking forward to this. And then two more. We're getting there and then I can actually start reading. Dial A for aunties. So a very good friend of mine, Alicia, bought this for me last year. And I have been desperate to get to it. Um, but I've just been approved for the second book by this author um, on NetGalley. So, of course, I need to read book one first. So I have just started this now. And I think I'm going to love this. So it's about um, Mehdi Chan accidentally kills her blind date. She then turns to her aunties for help. Um... And basically it involves hiding the body, there's a wedding going on, and it's just, I think this is going to be really fun, and I'm looking forward to that. And then the last book is another non-fiction, I've got a bit of a non-fiction fetish at the moment, but this is David Attenborough's A Life on Our Planet, and this man can do no wrong. He is a naturalist, he has done loads of documentaries on different parts of life on our planet, so he's sort of done like a documentary the blue planet which is uh, animals and plants and things under the sea and he is just an absolute legend so i'm looking forward to this actually i found this in charity shop like 125 and yeah so that is that's my eight books at the moment that we're hoping to have this week so i'm going to jump on and i will just update you through the week um if it gets too long i might have to split it into two vlogs this week we'll see how we go so I'm reading a little bit of the year I stopped to notice. Um, as you see, it's just little small things. I don't know how well that comes out, but just like one or two sentences with each little thing that the author's picked up on. I'm just going to read you a couple now. So one says, a woman reads in a cafe. Her eyelids are painted with glittery green eyeshadow. Outside, fog presses against the window. In front of her, a collection of cacti make a desert landscape of the sand-coloured table. And the next one goes... A white-haired man at the table by the door smiles as the waitress perfectly remembers his favourite order. And they're the kind of little sort of warm fuzzies that are in this book. And it's just so cute and it's so easy to read. So, yeah, I thought I'd spend a little bit of time with that and then I might go for an audiobook. We'll see. I have just finished The Year I Stopped to Notice by Miranda Keeling. It was really sweet. I loved all the little observations. I thought it was really lovely. And to be honest, it's kind of inspired me to maybe pay a little bit more attention when I'm out and about. Um, the illustrations were cute. It was just, it was nice. It was it was warm, fuzzy inducing. So it's now quite a bit late. It's a Sunday afternoon. It is 10 to 5. And I am going to have a little nap on the sofa. Because I'm sleepy. So I will potentially do some more reading later and I'll catch up with you later if I do. Excuse the unflattering angle, but I am not moving. Um, it's now about nine o'clock. I had a nap for about 15, 20 minutes before somebody decided that mummy didn't need to sleep anymore. He dive bombed me and tried to stick his tongue up my nostrils. Charming. It's all right when he wants to sleep though, isn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't like it if I did that to him. Not that I would do that. That would be weird. But anyway, um, so what I did is I put some dog videos on mute on the TV. Turned the light off. Took my glasses off. Closed my eyes. And I listened to Starfell 2. Willow Moss and the Forgotten Tale. And I listened for about an hour or so. I'm now 50% of the way through. I'm still absolutely loving it. Um, this is a brilliant series. It's action-packed. It's a fantastic, magical middle grade. And... It's just, it's brilliant. So I'm going to settle down now, read a bit of Jade War before the other half gets home. And he's treated me to a pretzel and I'm so excited. I'm easily pleased. And hopefully I'll catch up with you tomorrow when I've done a bit more reading. <laughs> it is quarter past seven Monday morning and I am at work and have been for about 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to start my day paying invoices like vehicle repairs and office music licenses and all sorts of exciting stuff. 
It is freezing out, hence me wearing the warmest jumper that I actually own, which is a Christmas one, but it is fleecy lined, so that's happening. I have leggings on under my jeans. It is that cold. I've got Duke in with me. Dad starts work in just over an hour, and I'm just gonna crack on until I've had enough. Then I'm gonna go home, have a bath and hair wash, sort out dinner, and then probably come back here again for the evening. Living the dream. But anyway, it's all good, it's all good. I'm gonna have a productive day. I'm a little bit overwhelmed by my to-do list today, which is causing quite extreme anxiety, but that's why I'm just gonna jump in. So hopefully, I'll be able to get a little bit of reading done later and catch up with you. Fingers crossed, eh? So it's now half past one. I have just come home to have a bath and hair wash and chill out because we are going back to the office tonight. We're probably gonna have a takeaway in the office. And I reckon the other half is aiming to get there about six, half six. So I wanted to come home, have a little bit of chill time first, sort of get my head together and relax a little bit. Um, given that I have already done six hours in the office today, so I'm, you know, knowing I potentially have another three or four tonight, I thought, right, I am going to come home and actually relax a little bit this afternoon with this little dove nugget. Oh, he's off. He's off. So, um, yeah, I'm running a bath and then I'm going to get in the bath. And I'm going to go downstairs and I might put on an audio book or I might do a little bit of reading for a little while. Um, I would really like to finish uh, Willow Moss and the Forgotten Tale, the Starfield 2. That would be brilliant to finish today. But if I don't, it's not the end of the world. I know I'm going to finish it this week um, because I have only got about an hour or so left. And I don't know. I don't know what else I want to read. What do you want me to read? You don't know. It's a hard life being a dog, isn't it? So I finished Starfield 2. Absolutely loved it. Gave it four out of five stars. Really, really enjoyed it. So we've gone from eight books to six books, which is really good because it's only five o'clock on Monday. So we can do this. I am fairly sure I can read another two books this week. Fairly sure. So happy days. Um, I realised that so far, I think this vlog must be like 12, 13 minutes, so I might vlog tomorrow and then put this up as like a part one um, of my weekly little challenge to see how many of my ridiculous number of books I can read. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go, but I will catch up with you soon. So it is now two o'clock Tuesday afternoon. I am at home waiting for a food shop to be delivered and I got home about half hour ago. I wanted to like change the sheets, take the bin out, put a wash on, really exciting stuff, eh? But quick reading update. I think I'm gonna finish three books in three days. I have nearly finished Our Day for Aunties and this is brilliant. I'm going to continue listening to this this afternoon. Um, if you're not familiar with it, I'm gonna read the back of it for you now. When Medi Chan accidentally kills her blind date, she turns to her aunties for help. Their meddling set her up on the date, so they kind of owe her. Although hiding this goddamn dead body is going to be harder than they thought, especially when her family's wedding business has the biggest wedding of the year happening right now. It turns out the wedding venue just happens to be managed by Medi's ex, aka the one who got away. It's the worst time to see him again, or is it? Can Medi finally find love and make her overbearing family happy this is just hilarious this is laugh out loud funny it is it is and you call you know you think oh they're gonna hide a body it's gonna be a bit dark and sinister it's not it is just so funny a lot is happening and i love that it's really keeping my attention because almost every chapter someone gets something thrown at them or something changes and it is just absolutely brilliant but highly recommend i'm gonna try and finish that today and um yeah, so that would be three out of the eight books I had on the go on Sunday morning read, which is fantastic, and I'm loving them all. They've all been really good so far, and I have made a dent on some of the other ones, so I shall keep going. It's a bit later now. I have just finished this, and it was absolutely brilliant. This is like 4.5 out of 5 stars for me. I just found this really fun. I loved how fast paced it was and I would very much recommend so Alicia darling thank you so much for sending me this it was absolutely brilliant so happy days I'm gonna chill out now I'm gonna start cooking dinner shortly and then hopefully the other half will be home we've got some work to do 
So I am going to make this the end of part one of this week's reading vlog and I will catch up with you hopefully tomorrow when I continue with my lovely pile of books. Bye!